You want performance out of your Ram? Do not do these five mods. Yeah. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building. Alright, five mods are not do do not do to your RAM if you're looking for performance. Now a lot of guys have these number five I'm gonna say is big heavy wheels and tires. Like a lot of guys always hit me up and say, hey, why aren't I running you know low 13s? I got all these mods done. What do you have? Well, my truck's about 5,600 pounds, and I got 20 by 12 chrome. I don't even know the name of some of them tires and wheels. And I got 35-inch tires, 33-inch tires, and they weigh 100 and some pounds a piece. That's not going to get you performance. Now, if you want to daily them, that's great. Yeah, they're, they're cool. They look cool. I'm not into the whole big, wide, heavy wheels and tires. That's just not me. I like the sport truck look. No big deal. I'm not, not dissing the tires and wheels, but they are not going to do anything for you at the racetrack or on the street. Or if you're trying to do any kind of performance mods, they're actually going to make it much worse. Much worse. It can easily affect a, a couple of tenths easily. So if you're looking to go faster, do not use them. They're a waste of time, waste of money for the track. You know, get yourself a set of 17s, put some good tires on, and send it. Number four, I would have to go with Pedal Commander. A lot of people love the Pedal Commander, but to me, for $300 to just be a real touchy pedal, it doesn't do anything. It does not going to get you any faster. It's not going to do anything. The only thing it might do is help you cut a better reaction time at the track. It's not going to affect any 60 foot, quarter mile, absolutely nothing. And for $300, definitely not worth it. It's a cool little device. Some people like it. Some people have it. If you have it, you know, great. But to go faster, no. Don't waste your money. Save your money up or something better. Or save, you know, if you have the money, save. keep saving up for, say, a throttle body if you don't have it. A cold air intake is going to get you a little bit better. A nice cold air intake, not, you know, a shitty shitty one. But, yeah, do not get a uh, throttle body. Uh, sorry, do not get a uh, pedal commander. $300, not worth it, in my opinion, at all. Number three. A lot of people are going to hate me for this, but... I'm not a fan of them. I don't think they do a goddamn thing, especially if you're a naturally aspirated motor is a uh, catch can. Yeah. Like people always say, oh, I have to have a catch can, a high performance car, motor. Yeah, yeah. How many high performance cars out there have catch cans that come to the factory? All these engineers all of a sudden like decided you don't, you know, you need a catch can? No, that's not how it works. Dodge Demon doesn't come stock with a catch can. They, you know, it's a nine second car out the factory, low tens, whatever you want to call it. You do not need a catch can. Catch can is a waste of money, in my opinion. I've ran consistent times at the track without a catch can. The same time I went to the track when I before I even got the cam in good weather and ran 13 eight times in a row, same mile an hour, same everything, cut almost the same exact light, 60 foot. Didn't affect anything. And I've done it the same time multiple times. I have no when I did my cam install, my motor was clean. It was great. No need for a catch can. They're just a waste of money. It's another tour. You know, some guys are going to hate me for it. But, hey, if you have it, it's not a bad thing. But it's just not going to do anything for performance. I know a lot of guys don't get them for performance. They get them for, you know, to help the motor. I'm not going to say it's not. It's, a, it's hurting you or anything. It's actually, it does help a little bit if you get that little bit of oil. But it's, it's so much that it's not going to make a difference if you do an oil change every three to 5,000 miles of regular oil. If you have good synthetic oil, you know, you can go five to seven. You know, some guys still do three. It's up to you. I don't, you know. But... I don't like them. I wouldn't get one unless someone gave it to me for free. You know, I'm not going to spend $200. It's just a waste of money, in my opinion. Number two, mod. Do not do. It's a waste of, you know, it does nothing. Stop cutting off your resonators on your stock exhaust and thinking it's doing something. It sounds exactly the same. I've so many videos online and you think it sounds a little different the resonator is not going to make the difference in sound it may be so minute that you can't really tell like oh i got my stock resonators up no it does absolutely nothing you want to get a little more sound a little bit of airflow do a muffler delete if you want to cut something off and have better flow the resonators don't do anything it's just wasted time 
and you know a waste of money if you got to put a new pipe in or whatever you know whatever no no point in cutting off your resonators there's so many clips out there of guys even on youtube that you know cut the resonators off and it's louder and they started up before and after and it sounds exactly the same yes no difference at all don't even bother with it get a full full cap back or a custom exhaust do it the right way don't you know don't just cut off your resonators and think it's doing something it does nothing Number one, biggest piece of shit, waste of money mod. A lot of guys are going to know about this. That are all, Everyone's going to agree on this is a goddamn throttle body spacer. <laughs> Why the hell you put a throttle body spacer in your car? No idea. It's a paperweight. Unless you're running nitrous and they have jets built, you know, for nitrous. I'm not a nitrous guy. I'm not going to run nitrous. But there are throttle body spacers made for nitrous. But the regular ones that are made that are literally just a little block that goes from your throttle body to your uh, intake manifold what the hell it does absolutely nothing it's just waste of money waste of mod do not do it no point for it and uh yeah well guys those are the five mods do not do to your ram for performance save your money get yourself some real performance like some headers cam anything else don't waste your money on stuff that you know that's not going to do nothing for it. peace